So this is an electric powered poly wire roller. They only cost about, well, they're made out of junk, so they don't cost anything. It's about 150 bucks. These are poly wire rollers. I love them. Unfortunately, they only hold maybe a half a mile at best. This is the Gallagher. This is the only one I would buy. The other one was the Speed Right. Really like it. The Gallagher's are good. This one's rolled up maybe 100 miles of fence and unrolled it. So it's held up good. They're about 150 bucks. If you're not doing lots and lots of fits, this is what I would advise any day of the week. However, I'm kind of running into a problem. I'm out there right now. We're rolling up about six miles of fence at a time. These just aren't big enough. So is what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn a five gallon bucket into a poly wire roller. And this, this here should hold about a mile and a half of fence if I need it to. And it's gonna be electric powered. So this is an electric powered poly wire roller. They only cost about, well, they're made out of junk. So they don't cost anything. This here, like I said, I do love this one. I use it all the time. I'll put a link into it. I'll put a link in there for this thing. This, if you're buying a poly wire, don't buy anything but the Gallagher ones. That's all I gotta say. Okay. This is what we're gonna do to make a poly wire roller out of a bucket. This here is just an old hydraulic bucket. The lids come off. I've used it to, I mean, it's a bucket. You use it for whatever. It's kind of dirty. There's some firewood ash in there. It doesn't matter. But anyway, so, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make this out of a one inch PVC pipe. And on the top, we're gonna have a drill. We're gonna cut a little slice in the side. A hole in the bottom, hole in the top for that PVC to go through. We're going to mount this on top of a couple blocks. That way my PVC can roll on the bottom and we can still take this whole thing apart, get, her, get all of our poly out, worst case scenario, something happens. But the idea of the whole thing is to just roll your poly up and then you leave it in a bucket and you can take it wherever you need to go or put it in storage and it's not going to be getting tangled up with anything. So that's the idea and let's make it happen. The first thing we're going to want to do is cut some PVC pipe. This bucket here is about 15 inches exact to the top of the bucket. So I'm going to cut just a touch more on that PVC, about an inch on the bottom and then about an inch on the top. So we're going to cut a piece of PVC about 17 inches here real quick. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Let's get our bucket out here. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to want to drill a hole dead center and then dead center just big enough for this piece of PVC to slide right on through. So this is one inch schedule 40 PVC and that's a nice fit there. That on this cover is, um, so that's an inch and three eighths hole in case you're wondering. Okay, let's do the other side here. Now that we have that done, this is really super, super simple. Guys, just put your, put your lid back on. We'll be taking that off in a second, but so here's the whole concept of it. Now we got that in there, and that'll spin around and around. Next, we're going to put a notch here for our string to come through onto our piece of PVC pipe in there. But first, we're going to put some tips on it. Here's a here's a one-inch piece of PVC. I went ahead and drilled a hole through there. The bottom end, don't glue it. So this here is the bottom end. You don't want to glue this. This is just to kind of hold it in place. This here is some all thread. I went ahead and stuck some all thread through that hole and I bolted it down. I did a double bolt about right there, really tight. Or I, I did a double nut right about there. Super tight, super tight. Let's see, can you see it in there? Hopefully you can, I don't know. It's a little washer. And then I screwed that one down about as tight as I could get it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this off right there. Now this will be the top piece here. We're gonna glue this piece on. It's gonna be super solid. If you want, you can put a little tack weld on there or there. It's, I've had these things, they hold. It had, they have came loose on me in the past, but just tightening that up usually fixes my problem. But yeah, so I'm gonna glue that on there. This will be one solid piece. Again, guys, always do this in a really well-ventilated area. This stuff will mess your lungs up. And do not get this stuff in a cut. Oh, this purple primer. Oh, there's nothing worse than that. Make sure you always hold these down because they'll try to push out. 
There we go. All right, now that we got that piece done, I'm gonna go, just, just remember, so you're holding your bucket kind of like this all the time. I'm gonna cut a slice right through the middle of this bucket here, and this is for the poly wire to come into. And one thing to kind of remember and think about when you're doing this is that as that string rolls up, it's gonna be rolling up and down this whole side. So basically, you're cutting a hole in the side of this bucket almost all the way through the top and almost all the way through the bottom, but don't go completely. So now that we have that thing cut out, there's still one thing I left that I kind of like to do, and that's put these on a block. So it gets them up off the ground just a little bit. Now this will make it so it doesn't really stack nicely in places, but when you're out rolling this wire up, it gives you something to stand on, and it holds that bucket down for you. That's really helpful when doing this stuff, because yeah, you just stand there, and I run my drill on the top, and just zip it up. And then I'll show you one other thing after we're done here. But let's screw these blocks down on here. Okay, now that we have those down in there, <laughs> hey guys, we can put our lid back on. There we go. Okay, so now you just take your other piece, slide right on down through those holes. And this piece here, you want to really count it on there. And that won't come off as you're, as you're out there spinning and twisting it on. And now when you're out there working, you can do it. You can just take a drill and really roll that stuff up fast. Just set this down on the ground and stand on it here and just get it. One thing left to do here that I think is really important it's as you're rolling your string up, you want your string to come up and down, up and down, up and down. I'll show you what I do for that. But this piece, it's essentially done. So there you go, guys. This costs literally nothing to make versus uh, about $150 for one of these. Now, that, now, don't get me wrong. I still love these things. There's a time and a place for these. Absolutely, 100%. I still use these. The Gallagher, this one right here is the only one I recommend. Don't buy any of the other brands. I've tried a lot of them, trust me. But uh, yeah, so this is this is more of like your long term. If you're just gonna be putting wire out maybe over the winter time or something like that, and you need to roll up a whole bunch and then you need to put a whole bunch out at once, this is the way to go. This is just expensive. You know, if you had to roll up six miles of wire with one of these, of the poly wire with one of these, that gets really expensive. So we got a bucket to control that the poly as it's coming in. You want it to kind of you want to keep it flush going up and down as you're rolling that up. Super, super simple. This is just another piece of one inch PVC and a one inch PVC T. And as you're rolling it, you move this up and down. And if you feel like your, P or your string's getting a little too loose, all you gotta do is twist your PVC. And then that, as your string's coming in here, if you twist it, that'll add a lot of tension um, to keep your roll tight. Super easy, I mean, it's about as easy as it gets. And like I said, yeah, it costs nothing. You need something to stand on so your bucket doesn't take off when you're rolling up your wire. And you can roll up a lot of fins really fast. This is just an 18. This is just an 18 volt battery here. And I rolled up, what was it, two and a half miles on one battery. And then I was done rolling up the wire and my battery was still pretty good. So you can roll a lot, of, lot, a lot of fins up with one of these. Oh, there you go, guys. <laughs> It's not the fanciest tip and trick, but it's darn sure probably one of the handiest ones out there that'll save you a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of backbreaking labor. But uh, yeah, so what I do, and if it works, I've got about four or five miles of fence to get rolled up, and I'll show you guys how this works maybe in the next video or something, but that's a really good tip for you guys. Thanks for watching, I'll see you around.